wanted to check out this cool game. It's actually a zine maker, like a zine making game, so you can actually create something with it and print it out if you have a printer or you can send it to the Kinko's FedEx and have them print it out for you. It was looking pretty cute and I actually used to do a lot of zines when I was in high school and so this game kind of brings back fond memories, making collages and writing in my journal. So you can actually just create the design here and then print it out and you don't have to worry about figuring out like the dimensions and stuff. <laughs> I remember I would do, I would take an eight and a half by 11 size paper and then fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And I would just do that uh, for multiple pages and then staple them in the center. So they would, uh, my the one that I would do usually looked like, let's see, this one, I kind of liked how you thought. <laughs> So let's try with let's start with this one first, and I was just kind of curious, uh, is this eight and a half by eleven then, or is this a twelve or what is it like a seventeen by eleven? <laughs> I actually haven't played this before. I just kind of opened it and checked it out, and it's so cute, and I love the style. <laughs> this developer is named Alien Melon. Just kind of been following their work over the years and noticed that they have like a bunch of mobile apps and a few years ago I had downloaded a few of the mobile apps by this developer. Uh, if you follow people on itch.io then you'll just get an email notification if they ever release something new. So I noticed that Alien Melon had just released number 10 of the Electric Zine Maker which is what we're gonna try out. Let's start a new zine! Oh wait, oh that was... <laughs> okay that was gonna be our new zine. Alright. Save it under desktop zines. Sounds great. I guess there was a little bit of potato, like, sound effects earlier. I'm trying to do all kinds of, like, um, uh, Halloween theme. Oh, okay, this is my mouse hand. Oh, no, there's no go back on this one. All right, well. <gasps> How cute. Oh, I love it when there's like, oh, randomized size. It has like the back, oh, the back button over here for control Z, but not in that little miniature canvas. Um, oh, let's make it smaller. I don't even really know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make art, I guess. <laughs> we'll make a few pages and then sometimes I like doing some weird art, you know. This was cool. Uh, this person actually made a really neat little zine creator. And then you can put text on top of it. I'll just say Jenny loves chat. <laughs> Thanks for watching me <laughs> make a zine. Okay, this is actually really hard to read. I can't see it at all actually. Actually, when I was making zines, a lot of the time I would just be doing that by myself. I would do like the handheld zines. This is so cool though that uh, they made this really cool little zine creator. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, done. Cause you can save it, you know? You can save it and return to the main menu. We can come back later and edit more later. If we can just get the first one started, then it'll be awesome. Okay, color fill. You can print it out and then you can just fold it up and then you have a zine, like a little paper zine. So it's like functional too, it's not just... You know what? We could draw a goldfish. I'm not very original, am I? <laughs> Let's draw that little goldfish down there. That thing's giving me... 
idea. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with trying to get good at just using Blender for digital art. I used to love like pumpkin patches and corn mazes. I love that stuff. They're a scary monster for Halloween. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Now that's a person, clearly. Cuteness, I love it. Yeah, I love being clicked. Clicks actually tickle, haha. -ha. <laughs> I feel like sometimes they're, well, oh yeah, this is so cute. Look at the little green hand that shows you how to fold it. With the page facing horizontal, landscape, fold in half, and then fold in half again. And then pretty much it's just, uh, it's pretty awesome if you're not like good at following directions because with the color coordinating <laughs> colors there, that helps. So. Sweet, all right friends, well that was fun. Yeah.